here, here's the problem is uh, right now there is there's really no way to get around the physics of a rocket. So uh, I think it's important for the long term uh, preserva preservation and and ultimately the expansion and extension of the, the, the scope and scale of consciousness uh, and the long term uh, probably a survival of humanity and life as we know it. We must become a multi planet species. Uh, because there are all these risks that we can't control. Uh, existential risks. There's all these Asteroid existential strikes. Risks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's like. Super volcanoes. You know, we could do a, a, you know, <laughs> we could have a World War Three uh, or something. You know, there's. Um, like, I'm optimistic about the future, but you, but you could also say, like, okay, well, so how long do you think civilization will last before there's a catastrophic event? If you say infinity, you're, this is not correct. Yes. Okay. <laughs> This is this is not uh, history does not suggest that <laughs> <laughs> history just suggests we do dumb things to our civilizations all the time, you know. And, and you know, this is the ancient Egyptians, the Romans, ancient Romans. Where are they now? <laughs> Let's do the video series. Where, where are they now? Yes. The Civilizations, the Babylonians, peak. Sumerians, yeah. the yeah, you name it, you know. So, um, so there's uh, been many civilizations that have risen and fallen. And anyway, we we got to preserve. Uh, we're going to become multiplanetary, and, and right now the only way to do that is with um, with, with rockets that uh, do burn fuel. Um, but we do have a long-term plan for sustainability of um, of even rocket flights uh, by uh, generating uh, propellant uh, using um, sustainable energy, wind and solar, mm -hmm. uh, to generate uh, starting first with uh, liquid oxygen. Um, and for our Starship vehicle, uh, it's uh, almost 80% liquid oxygen. Yeah, uh, and. Um, 20% uh, uh, liquid methane, um, and um, the oxygen, it's obviously pretty easy to create that. Uh, you just use um, wind and solar electricity, and, um, and you do air, air separator, because you've got the oxygen already in the air, the plants are making the oxygen, um, so you can, use just, you can just use electricity, basically, renewable electricity, to create 80% of the propellant on the rocket. And then for the remaining 20%, uh, you can use the Sabatier process, where you, take, you actually take CO2 out of the atmosphere, and you combine that with water to create CH4 and, and more O2. Yep. Um, and that's and that's in fact what we would do on Mars. Sure. To generate propellant. Sure. So 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 there is a long-term plan for sustainable generation of propellant uh, for the rockets. I do want to emphasize that. Um, and if there's some if there's some other way to do that now, we, we certainly would. Yeah. Uh, but I'm I'm just trying trying to sort of address this apparent inconsistency in um, you know if generating carbon is bad, why why are you doing that with rockets? Yeah.